could take a holiday off the edge to consolidate all of my What's up guys, today we're going to be doing this building grow effect and this video clip in particular is actually really good for this effect because it has a nice bit of forward movement, it's very steady and the sky is washed out and white which means that we don't have to replace the sky which can be probably the trickiest part about this effect. So the first step is to go to the start of where you want this effect to happen, select your video clip and go over to the effects tab, go to masks, draw mask and you can just drag that on or double click it. And you want to start drawing around the parts that you want to appear. So I'm just gonna go really simple. Start off in the middle here, keeping to these main lines. And then when you get to the top of the building, because the sky is already washed out and white, what I'm gonna do is just leave a gap on the top and just give it a really rough mask because I don't need to be detailed on the top part and you'll see why later on. So now the mask is done, I'm just going to track that real quickly and go over here to the parameters, go to transform and I'm just going to hit the keyframe on all of these and also control points and then I'm going to go to the end and just move that mask so it tracks with where I put it in the beginning and this is just really rough but you can see if I scrub through this the mask stays nicely attached to the video clip. There's only a little bit of movement so it's really easy. Okay next step is to copy and paste the video clip, command C, command V. So we have a duplicate and on the top one, you wanna to go to invert mask and you can see there's a slight black outline where the two masks overlap. So to get around that, what I'm gonna do is just turn the feather down to minus one, which gets rid of it. And then I'm going to select my bottom clip, go to the end of the effect Go over here to this transform tool and just open it up and go to distort. Click that and go to the keyframe button. Click that and then go to the back to the beginning of the start of the effect and just grab one of these top bars right here and drag it down so the building becomes hidden behind the first shot. Okay, so now you should have something that looks like this. So now we need to fill in this black hole and to do that, I'm just going to use a solid so I'm gonna open up my browser, going to the generators tab up here, down to generators, solids, custom. I'm gonna drop that underneath my footage, go up to the color, pick the little dropper and just select the part closest to the black area. Okay, so now if we play that back. Now, if you wanna get a bit more advanced on this, you can actually separate the buildings really easily and make them grow at different speeds. So to do that, I'm going to copy and paste the bottom video clip and drag that underneath the top layer. And then I'm going to add another mask. So another draw mask to that layer. And then I'm gonna to go to the end and just separate one of these buildings, just like that. And then I'm going to right click on that video clip, show video animation. You should have the distort four corner keyframes and the last keyframe in this, I'm just going to bring it back. So that part of the building now comes up first. And then if you want to do it again, just copy the bottom clip and just repeat the same. So now they all kind of grow at different rates, which is quite cool. Okay, and the last step is just to add a bit of motion blur so that the buildings kind of blend together a bit better and I'm going to go to my titles and motion blur and I'm just going to use this one right here. Motion blur doesn't come with Final Cut Pro but I'll leave the link to it down below, it's a free plugin and then you can see if I turn this on and off it just gives the buildings a nice bit of motion blur. So there you go, that is the finished effect. As a really rough quick edit, it actually turned out really good. I'll leave this video clip down below if you want to download it and try this effect out for yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. I could take a holiday off the edge to consolidate all